we take a quick break now from politics to explore the paranormal. Joining us now is star of the critically acclaimed show Evil as the psychological thriller examines the origins of good and evil in its third season. Mike Coulter, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. So Evil certainly grabs your attention. Tell us about it. What can we expect from the new season? Uh, the new season is going to jump off right where we left off from last season. Uh, David Acosta, who I play, who's now become a priest, is um, comforting his co-worker, um, Kristen Bouchard, uh, played by Katia Herbers. Um, it's it's, a, it's a, a lot of things happening at once. There's an emotional pull. There's a dedication and loyalty to the church. And as you can see, he's being compromised in that clip. And I just can't wait for people to see what we're doing this season. It's going to be really fun, really exciting, and um, it's going to have people talking. He's being compromised. I love your <laughs> description of what's happening in that scene. So when you read about this trio of main characters, it almost sounds like one of those bar jokes, right? It's a psychologist, a priest, and a carpenter. What drew mm -hmm. you to this role as the priest? Uh, you know, it was just extremely different. I, I had never heard of a black Catholic priest. Not that I had given it much thought, it's just one of those things I hadn't seen. And just when I read the, the pilot, it just felt like it was something unique and new uncharted territory and I couldn't wait to jump off of this of this cliff with the kings who I'd worked with before and see where this story takes me and uh, and and what kind of challenges I could come up with. Have you always had an interest in the paranormal? Not particularly. Um, I just I'm just interested in really good writing and I think the kings have found a way to make compelling stories and write compelling characters within the context of somewhat of a genre piece. And so when people look at the show, they're not sure from the outside what it is. They sort of market it as a horror or a genre piece. But in fact, it's just a really, really well-told, well-done drama. And I think people should tune in and give it a few episodes and uh, they won't regret it. And you have though discussed your own personal run-in with the paranormal as a child. Tell us about that. Uh, when I was a child, I had a couple instances where um, I used to lay in my bed at night and I couldn't sleep. And I, or, well, I was trying to sleep, and I would feel like this pressure, this 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 thing that was sort of sitting on my chest, and it felt like I couldn't or I couldn't move. My arms were being held down, and I couldn't open my eyes. And after a while, I was struggling. I would be able to sit up, and I had a I felt like I couldn't breathe for a bit. And then I realized, you know, I, my, my mother would call it the hag. She said the hag was riding you, son. Uh -huh. And it was really bizarre. I grew up in the South, so there's a lot of folklore and a lot of um, mystery and a lot of, um, I wouldn't say voodoo, because that's not something I really believe in. But let's just say um, I don't tempt fate. I don't tempt the, um, the people who do believe in it. Um, I'll just say that much. But the hag has not revisited since childhood that she's no longer a thing? Not since I did what my mother told me to do, and I can't recall what it was, but it was something to get rid of the hag, and uh, I'll have to check in with her and find out exactly what that was. So the show can be scary at times, but it also does have deeper meaning. What do you hope that viewers take away from the show, ultimately? Uh, you know, we really are a show that allows the main characters to debate and to talk about what's happening in the world right now, this very moment. Our, our show is very timely. Um, if you watch the show, it really explains and calls into question what people are doing and why they are doing it. And honestly, it brings into you know question who's running our country, why they are doing what they're doing, who we are as individuals, how we interact with our family and our loved ones, how we are as people when it comes to love. Um, there's just so many things that are covered. To say that it's a, a horror show, is it would do it an injustice. It's something that I think people should check out because honestly, the writing's great. Um, I think we do the best job we can um, to meet the challenge that the Kings give us. And I think people watch the show and are pleasantly surprised that they can't quite describe what it is that they're watching, but they're just you know, telling their friends and they're traveling, they're spreading the word. Word of mouth is really helping us out a lot. Spreading a, a word about the, those scenes of compromise, right? Compromise. Evil. <laughs> Evil, compromise. Evil premieres on Paramount Plus this Sunday with new episodes weekly. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.